I was told you'll be leaving for Anuenue. The vessel behind me is His Majesty's ship, the Mindir. It's at your disposal by order of the King. Are you ready for departure? When you arrive at Anuenue, go to the palace and give this letter to Queen Corellia. Yes, Your Majesty. We won't fail you. I'm counting on you. All of you. Please, get some rest, my lord. Alrighty. Let's get moving. Poisonous gas. Those that fall in never return alive. This place always gives me the creeps. For those who make a living flying the skies like myself, it's known as the pit of hell, my friends. It certainly looks ominous. Ah, Anui Nui has come into view. Let's take King Laticon's letter to Queen Karelia. The sooner the better. What's this? They sure seem to be enjoying themselves. Must be the festival of the celestial tree. There's a gigantic tree here. 
They say its flowers only blossom once every 30 years. The people of Anue Nue hold a huge festival to celebrate the year it blossoms. A timely arrival, I'd say. Yes, this must be it. To think they're having the time of their lives, with no knowledge of the coming crisis. Ignorance is bliss, I must say. Today, we're going to talk about the mysteries of our world. Let's start with the taint clouds. No creature can survive in those clouds, which is one reason they are often said to be the boundary between this life and the next. Moving on, here's another tale you may have heard before. It's said there is a kingdom of ice far to the north. Some claim it's so cold there that the air you breathe out, or even your wings, will freeze solid. According to legend, this frigid land is ruled by witches. Fearsome witches that wield dark and powerful magic. Of course, this could just be a fanciful tale told by superstitious sailors, similar to rumors of phantom ships and mermaids luring sailors into darkness. There are so many mysteries in our world that have yet to be solved. Perhaps someone among us here today will someday find answers to these perplexing questions.
There are five continents in all, each of them an island nation floating in the sky, the ancient land of Sidal Su, Diadem, land of the clouds, our very own Anue Nue, the rainbow nation, Mira, city of illusion, and Alfard, empire of the flame, all have prospered as independent states, giving birth to unique and varied cultures. There were a number of border skirmishes in years past, yet none of them ever led to large-scale wars among the islands. Our forefathers have toiled hard to keep the peace that we enjoy today. Let us offer a prayer that this peace should last forever. Have any of you heard the legend of the ocean? A long time ago, when sky and earth were still apart, when the five continents were not yet afloat, a huge puddle of water, called the ocean, covered most of the land. Continents at the bottom of the sky, water covering the land. Somewhat hard to imagine, isn't it? 